Hi everyone, it's MJ from my paper journey. How's everybody doing? I hope you've all had a nice weekend. It is Sunday evening and it's pretty dark outside. So, um, well, sadly to say, it's the fourth week of uh, Cindy T's uh, challenge. It's hashtag it's my bag it's the fourth week and the prompts for the for the last week is uh, a female in the color blue so this is this is a bag that i made i think mo all the bags that i'm doing today um i made them they're not uh, they're not purchased bags <clears throat> excuse me so I picked this image here, this lady, well, female. First, when she, when I saw a female, I thought, well, it's a lady. But then I figured, well, it could. Then I saw her, uh, Cindy's video, and it's uh, she used these cute young little girls uh, on her bags. So I said, oh, okay, I can I can use little girls on my bags. So this is the first this is the first one I made, and I'm gonna try to make uh, two of them with you so if you want to craft along with me and i just layered this is the uh trim that i bought i shared with you in a previous video that i on um, when i did the uh, hobby lobby uh shopping spree there and this is a blue flower uh that i made and this is just uh scraps of uh, french lace that I applied there and then I went ahead and put three little faux flat back pearls and some a piece of crochet um, trim here it's I think it's a lace crochet lace it's not part of a doily but I did use a doily a piece of a doily down below here layer that with the uh, satin flower and then I went ahead and I put um, a coffee dyed from a uh, flower trim but I went ahead and cut um, an individual flower and then I applied a flat back with a rhinestone here and I went ahead and added the word hope and so that's my first bag and let's get started the next this is another bag that I've made. I printed the paper on an eight and a half by eleven, and I created my bag. This is the image that I want to use. Now this image has my Valentine think of me, but I don't want it to be a Valentine bag. I want it to be um, a universal bag that can be for anything. So I found this scrap of lace. I was thinking of using that to frame the picture. So I need to cut this because as you see, it's it has a jagged edge there that I do not want. And I don't even know if I cut this straight or not. do that and then I have another flower that I made I only had like three or four so after today I'm only gonna have maybe one or two left I'm not sure now yeah. right I'm gonna have another one like this size but the other one is a lot bigger and I didn't want to use big flowers because these bags are not very big and neither is the picture and and this was like a a bow, a double bow with a pearl in the center. And I took the pearl and the other layer of the uh, embroidered bow. So I thought I went ahead and put it there. So let me start with that. Yesterday we celebrated my husband youngest sister she turned 60 
and it was a surprise so she was she was really surprised and i was surprised her husband oh this is not i was surprised that her husband kept it under wrap that didn't spill the uh the surprise But he did good. So it was nice. And I got to meet uh, my sister-in-law. Her name is Yolanda. I got to meet one of her friends um, that used to work with her way back when, many years back. And um, her daughter... Um, Marcella was able to get her phone number off her mom's phone and called her, invited her to her party. So we had a nice time. And Marcella, she's so good at cooking. Oh, she has this salad dressing made out of basil, the dressing. Oh, it's delicious. That's all I ate was the salad, which is good because then I ended up having a two piece of cake. Oh, that cake was delicious. It's from the company Bunt Cake or, or nothing but Bunt or something like that. And it's delicious. And then she gave us a couple of pieces to bring home, which oh, she had to do that. Oh, I was tempted and I did eat a little piece earlier today. Because I had two pieces last night. I put that there and then I have these other pieces it's gonna be really simple I because I don't want a long video because you all know I don't like to do which is the right side I guess this is the right side this is the wrong side these are hard to tell sometimes I guess it doesn't matter because I'm just gonna get Oh, wait a minute. This is the wrong side, so the other side is the right side. It's going to get covered up anyways. Put that there. You know, the, the, the bad thing about using these synthetic fibers, you know, uh, trims, is that they don't they don't the glue I mean adhere well right away so I think I want to add this here because it has different shade of blue and this is kind of like a teal actually it's not really this shade of blue but it does have different tones of blue on the picture and this is kind of teal and I thought I would bring out that color on her hat and her uh, what do you call those hand warmers thingies something like that I'm not sure what they're called like that very simple nothing 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 too complicated I like to keep my my work easy because if you make it too complicated um, people don't really want to get inspired to do stuff like that because they get intimidated I should know I was that way plus I don't like a lot of too too much too too much embellishment I think less is more I know there's some out there some ladies they they really overload everything, but that's not me. I like a little simplicity. And I was going to use this on, the, on that other bag, but it didn't really go well with it. So I thought I'll use it on this one, the word faith. So I'll put some glue here. And like um, Rock, Rachel from Roxy Creation, how she says, audition. So I went ahead and auditioned this a little bit before turning on the camera. So 
so that I wouldn't have a very uh, a long, super long video. So that's this bag. So I just wonder if I should put something here. Let me look what I have. Should I put some pearls? Since this has a pearl in the center, maybe put three pearls here. Oh my goodness. Get my tweezers. So I can see what um, they're a little big but that's okay because this is kind of a big full back pearl yeah I think I'll put that there or should I put a heart but these are pretty much the same size and they're kind of big to put three of them together so I think I'm going to use these. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. That's a lot of glue. These are kind of sticky because I've used them before. So that's why they're kind of hard to release the pearl. So I'll let that sit there for a while till the the glue does um, grasp onto the uh, to the paper. And then I'm gonna use this. Yeah. These are six millimeter, in case you're wondering what size of bead flat bags I'm using. There's um, six millimeter flat bag pearls, oh, faux flat bag pearls. And so that's my second um, bag. So I hope you like it. And I'll set this over here, oh, here on the side, and let it dry. And let me put this away, cause get it out of the way, cause I'm very limited in space. My work area. Then I have this other bag that I made as well. And I've already chosen the picture as well. Isn't that a gorgeous a girl, a lady? And I've already distressed and I kind of like jagged the edges. By her hairdo, looks like in the early 1900s, 1910, 1920 era. And I wanted to frame this, so I went ahead and... Since I didn't get to use it, oh my goodness, on my, um, on the last, um, <laughs> okay, I better lay it flat over here away from me, because apparently I'm dangerous, um, that I didn't get to use the last time on, on the other bag, so my thought was put this like that to kind of frame her. Because I like the blue and white and beige and browns together. I don't know. They just... Something about it. It just appeals me. I think it's pretty. So I'll just put some glue. There's a... Um, a challenge that I'm participating 
and I've already mailed it out. That's Susan Heartstring, Susan Heart from Heart Susan Heartstring on YouTube is hosting. Um, the challenge is already closed because we were assigned um, we were assigned a secret Valentine. It's it's called uh, hashtag friend swap i think yeah and so i already mailed my person um we were we are we are to make a um a tag a valentine theme tag and and a um and send a tea bag for so i already sent it off to my secret person that I it was that I was assigned to and I haven't received mine yet because we we have until February February the 8th to <clears throat> to mail it out I just went ahead and mailed mine out because I said I right now I I, I had it done way way back in January but I didn't want to mail it too soon and I don't want to mail it too late because you all know me sometimes I have unexpected events and um, either because I don't feel good and then or because my mom it's not feeling well, you know, I end up taking her to urgent care. I don't know how many times I took her to urgent care in January. And she's really not that old. She's 78. She'll be 79 in May. But, you know, life is what it is. Can't predict um, what will happen. So then I went ahead and cut off some pieces off of this uh, other light blue uh, French lace. And then I, I bought this the other day at, um, at, at, at Dollar Tree. So I don't know if that's going to look okay. Oops. Cut that off. I put it. There, and then I have this flower. It's, a, it's kind of big, but then that's why I decided to frame it uh, to make it um, so I can use this flower. So, layer that, put that. And then I already cut these pieces. And then I have this other piece. I guess I can put it up there. Yeah. I was going I was just gonna use those two pieces, but I think um just kind of uh, balance the uh, you know your eyes looking at that. And then I have these feathers that I cut out that I thought would be kind of pretty to put down here oh yeah I like that so I'm gonna keep that and I don't know um, what kind of feathers they are I got them a while oh I didn't even <laughs> I haven't even glued this down um, I got them from AliExpress from a vendor, oh, well, I don't know, more than a year ago, so I don't remember, um, what kind of feathers they are. Oh, the glue seems to be, um, getting absorbed into the lace, which means it's going to get hard for it to adhere.
this is synthetic fiber so it's going to take a while to for the glue to grasp and to adhere to the flower to the paper and so So I hope you guys have been going over to the other channels, watching the other ladies that are participating in the challenge. I've been trying to get cut up. There was quite a few. I was really pleased to see. Um, I know Susan Hartstring is participating. She already posted her... Uh, her video on, on the on this last one this fourth one and I haven't seen Dale but I know Dale has done three of them already three weeks and some other ladies I can't remember their their YouTube name but all you have to do in the on the uh, description box on the search um put hashtag it's my bag and then you'll see all the then you'll see all um the different channels uh name appear so you and so you can see um and visit their channels give them support because that's what keeps us motivated keeps us going and sharing videos with you I don't do it for business. This is just my hobby. And whenever I can, I'll share uh, what I make with you. So uh, I know a lot of them that post daily, every day, every day uh, videos will because that's their business. That is their source of income. I This is a hobby of mine and it's a stress reliever for me. It's a way for me to, uh, you know, help me forget. The busyness of life and uh, so forth so this is my third bag so yeah go visit those ladies and watch how everybody um, em embellishes the bags with the same prompts and um, everybody everyone does something different so these are my three bags uh, using a lady or female a girl in the color blue so hope you guys like my bags and uh, my usual let me know which one you like and why because I like to hear from you and I do answer your um, all your comments and I do appreciate all of you that have been commenting thank you for your support and you all have a wonderful weekend. I know tomorrow is Monday. Boo. <laughs> but have a good week, guys. Until next video, take care. Bye-bye.